22-member committee is working to bring Major League Soccer to Music City. Our Kimberly Davis has been talking with those pushing for the higher level of professional soccer. So, Kimberly, what's the timeline for all of this? Carrie, well, I've been speaking with committee members all day, and they're telling me there's no exact timeline for when Nashville will find out if, in fact, it will house a major league soccer team. But backers are already out making, process, making plans just in case that league decides to send a team here to Music City. Nashville is already the home of an NFL team as well as an NHL team, but now Nashville may house a major league soccer team. Music City is making a bid to be one of the next four teams, along with cities like Austin, Detroit, San Antonio, St. Louis, and Cincinnati. And now a committee of wealthy investors came together in hopes of bringing major league soccer to Nashville. Our city is at a point right now where I think we are ready and going to be extremely competitive for this next round of bids that is going to come out. The league is going to expand from 24 to 28 franchises, and that may be the last opportunity that we have. Soccer is growing in popularity here in Tennessee, and many sports fans think Nashville would be the perfect fit for that MLS expansion. I think a lot of people here in Nashville are really looking forward to us having a team um, in soccer. You know, the United States team plays at the Titan Stadium. Uh, I think they played here, I think, last year. Um, it was a great turnout. I think about 30,000 fans came. Plans of where the stadium could be built are underway, but it's up to the committee to prove to the MLS that Nashville is right for one of the future teams. But committee members say the outpour of support from the community has been incredible. The community is so fired up. Everyone that I talk to is tremendously excited about the potential. And if you look at the organizing committee roster, what you'll see are representatives from broad-based community groups. Collectively, that committee generated more than $100 billion in revenue last year, and now they are ready to lead the bid. Committee members include former U.S. Senator Bill Frist, as well as former Governor Phil Bredesen, as well as executives from the Nashville Predators and Tennessee Titans. For now, we are live in the newsroom tonight. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5.